process that I followed uh, was analyzing the instrument, researching uh, about the instrument in its early stages, um, uh, listening to music or watching videos um, on YouTube of Armaos, who was a great Laterna maker, um, and trying to see what works, what doesn't, and then build on the roots, um, but also use my knowledge and my craft and incorporate my musicality and how I you know how I view the world uh, rather than just copy uh, something that is already exists there's no point they did it it was great they made it so I think that the best word that would describe my process was reinvention um, taking something and reinventing it using your authenticity your personality and your musicianship decided to make uh, music for La Terna. It actually dates back to early meetings with David Harrington of Kronos Quartet. We were discussing Greek instruments and music in general and at some point La Terna came into the conversation and David was like, oh, this is so interesting. Um, and then uh, some time passed and then I got a call uh, from him and he was like, La Terna, Lincoln Center Outdoors and, and you and let's do it. Besides the Laterna, uh, there's so much more flow of inspiration coming from uh, Greek music. The, the rhythm, the melodic ornamentation, uh, the diversity in instrumentation. Um, you go from one province to another and it changes completely. From one island to another and it changes completely. And beyond that, it's also, it's even deeper than that, is the emotion, it's the lyric, the, the expression. These speak to me always and um, and I find myself sometimes detecting those elements into m lyrics in French or like into a samba section or um, I don't know anywhere you see that emotion you see that expression you see that generosity the, the honesty that I find in in Greek music and Greek lyric also the simplicity um, continuous inspiration <laughs> Released uh, our debut album uh, is called Amour de la, uh, and it's all in French actually. Um, it's 11 French songs that I wrote. Um, and many people ask me, so why do you write in French? You're Greek and you live in New York. What's the deal? <laughs> uh, it dates back actually to my Berklee College of Music years. Um, I never l wrote a lyric in my life and at some point uh, I really wanted to. So I was dating this uh, Belgian guy then and we were living together. So starting off learning a bit of French. So I didn't know much. So it was perfect. I could write in French, I don't know much, so I, don't ha I have a great excuse for my lyrics not being good. And also, not many people can understand me, so no <laughs> criticism there. <laughs> it was perfect. So I had this uh, vocal writing uh, project to do, and you had to write a song, whatever. So I said, ah, oh, okay, I do this bossa nova, because I love bossa nova, and then I put some French lyrics over it, and it's going to be fun. And it was so much fun. It was like a playground, because I felt that nobody was was there to criticize me or I, I didn't have any precedent before me so I felt completely free to doing whatever I wanted. Banda Magda is my band, very literal. Magda and Banda, Banda Magda. Uh, it was created uh, 2010 maybe, so roughly three years old. Um, and it's been a, such an adventure. Uh, it started off in Boston at Berklee College of Music with fellow bandmates Marcelo Woloski, uh, Ignacio Hernandez, Mika Mimura and Keita Ogawa. And then we all moved to New York and we met bassist Petros Klabanis, who's also a Greek. And there it was. 
the band was created. In the beginning we started very small. I remember we were playing in, you know, in restaurants for very little money and trying to play as much as possible almost every day and that got the band really tight and also the, the friendships very tight too. And now in two weeks we're playing Celebrate Brooklyn um, at the band shell and it's a huge festival and you know it's, it's a great feeling to see it grow like that and go back and, and see where it started. With the band there's a continuous flow of energy, of inspiration, somebody says something and somebody else gets inspired and there's this energy that flows all the time. I love New York, uh, I love what it has to offer, I love the music scene. Uh, some of my best friends are here, my bandmates are here, my band is here. Uh, and uh, I have built sort of like this musical family that is very precious to me. But I do miss my country very much. Uh, and, and I'm a very proud Greek. 